Today, I'm gonna to unlock the secrets behind setting up the ultimate phone system for your thriving venture and provide you with access to the same phone system technology that all the biggest companies are using and don't want you to know about. And best of all, it's free. Well, mostly. We'll talk about all the fun advantages that going virtual will provide. I'll even unveil the power of geocloaking and how to leverage local area codes, a proven formula to foster client trust, boost response rates, and close more deals, and how to set up calling hours so no one bothers you when you're on your lunch break. This video is supercharged by 3CX, and they're generously offering a two-month free trial of their exclusive 3CX SMB package. It's their bold move to prove its unparalleled value in turbocharging your business. In the era where work from home is the new mantra, having a virtual yet cohesive telecom system or contact center is essential. And this is the tool I swear by in my own business. And setting it up is dead simple. For those new to the game, 3CX is your ultimate telephony genie. Unlike the clunky outdated hardware systems, 3CX software driven solution is agile, making it a dream to install, manage, and scale. So let's roll. First, claim your two month free trial over here. Once onboarded, I grabbed their iPhone app, christening myself as employee numero uno. Next, I need to grab an SIP trunk and DID number. I know, fancy term. Terms. But just to explain these by way of analogy, think of 3CX as Webflow, where you build and manage your own website, but you still need a domain name, which in this example is your SIP trunk and phone number. For this video, I chose Callcentric as my SIP provider. Their portal might not win design awards, but they're legit. So I created my account over on Callcentric, then I purchased a designated phone number. I even got to pick a number for my local area code, which is super helpful for those with local clientele. Geocloaking is super neat. Then I picked a calling plan that allows me to make and receive unlimited calls. It was pretty cheap. Now to connect call centric with 3CX, we come over to our 3CX account page and we're going to come over to admin. Okay, then we come to voice and chat and then we're gonna select add trunk. Okay, so the SIP trunk is not the phone number that people are gonna call. People are going to call the DID number. Now the trunk number is available in Callcentric, but over in Callcentric, we're gonna go to extensions and then we're gonna set up a user ID and password, which we're gonna to wanna to enter into 3CX. So the authentication ID is gonna be the same number as the main trunk number. Okay, now in 3CX, we're gonna come over to DID numbers and we're gonna add our direct inward dialing number. You can get your DID number and call centric from a couple different places. Here are a few of them. Then we can go ahead and click save. And then if we refresh, we should see this green connection indicator. If you see a warning, it means you probably entered the wrong number. And I decided to give my new number a whirl. So I used Skype to dial into my new business number and it went through, but it instantly went to voicemail, which I can listen to here. Uh, hi, yes, my name's Karen and I'd like to speak to the manager, please. That's great, but now I want the call to actually forward to my device. So I'm gonna set up some routing logic in 3CX. I'm gonna set up some business hours, and since I'm lazy, I'll say I work every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, so now when I call, I should get through. So I'm gonna do one. Okay, so on the left-hand side, I'm just making a call from my Skype account. And on the right-hand side, I'm logged into 3CX. It worked. But for the sake of example, let's add another user, this time on an Android device. So let's try adding a new user to the team. And then we're gonna go over to users. And then we're gonna go to add user. And we're gonna add Sheldon Cooper. And what I would do is provide the email address for this person because it's gonna send them their login credentials. So I'm just gonna use my own email address here. And then we can give them a privilege level. I'm just gonna do user. And then everything else we can just keep as is. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Okay, so you can see this new user gets their own extension. And now to provision that new user on my Android device right here, we're gonna download the 3CX application. So we're just gonna go to Google Play and we can just search for 3CX and this is the application right here. We're just gonna let this download and we'll go ahead and open it. And then we'll select agree. And then now what it's telling me to do is to go to my email address and then scan the QR code, which is gonna provision the account. Okay, so I'm just going over to my email address. I can see the new emails right here. It's giving me my extension, my PIN, and then it's telling me to set a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that password. Okay, so now I'm in the portal, but I wanna provision 
the application on my mobile device. I'm gonna do scan QR code. And there it is, Sheldon Cooper. So now we can just navigate through this. I'm gonna do continue. Okay, now we can see that Sheldon Cooper is all set up. Okay, so now I'm gonna to try to route the call to uh, Sheldon. So I'm gonna go over to voice and chat. I think there's different ways to do it, but this is one way to do it. So I'm gonna to go to call routing, and then currently when office is open, route to data slayer. I'm gonna say route to Sheldon. Okay, so now I'm gonna call the number from a random Skype account and see if it gets routed to Sheldon, which is represented on this Android phone here. So we're gonna go ahead and click a dial. All right, now we can see the, the call coming in. All right, so let's put a custom greeting in place. So I'm gonna to go to admin and then office hours. And then I know the call is gonna get routed here. So we're gonna do play announcement. And I'm gonna upload a greeting that I just created. And that should be all set. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'm just gonna grab my number and then call it over on Skype. Hello and welcome to the Data Slayer Tech Channel. If you've tried turning it on and off again and still need assistance, then you've come to the right place. And finally, I'm gonna actually make an outbound call to a customer. This solution has been around for a while, so they really have support for any routing system you can come up with and allow you to tailor it to best suit your business needs. They go above and beyond with cool features like listen in, whisper, and my personal favorite dubbed barge in on calls, Kool-Aid man style. They also support the new RCS protocol. 3CX also has really robust chat solutions for customer facing or internal chatting applications that really serve the omni-channel need that customers might have. Keep in mind 3CX free is still free for up to 10 users forever. Happy dialing.